Hey guys, this is um, Nerd Genius Playthroughs, episode 4, part 1. This is just after episode 3, Redux. You know I'm playing the Necromancer. I've just um, summoned two players here to aid me in defeating the Gargoyles. Because that's what you do. Now I'm going to attempt to cut off their tail and uh, forge myself another axe. Let's see what happens as we're going to um, go through the white light. And these guys are devilishly handsome. Just going around again, seeing if there's any uh, extra items about because that's what you do and for those of you that don't farm for shame for shame on you and your families a curse on both your houses okay guys come on right here we go She got through there. And I died. Yeah, that's um, rule number one when uh, facing the gargoyles. Don't stand close to the edge. What's that 50 cents said? 50 cents said. You know what I want to use. Don't push me. And he pushed. Right, so now I've got to summon these guys again. And go after the gargoyles. Kind of screwed myself over there. Best thing to do when you die is apologize to the other guys. Because they were trying to help me. And I fucked up. Big time. like some fuzzy little pictures don't they cute little pandas cute little kittens what do I have a monkey because I'm cheeky like that boom 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 remix right let's try this again and um, see what happens And he laughing out loud me. Hmm. Right, I've got to unhollow myself. Which is a bitch in this game, because you need to make sure you have the humanity. Then with the humanity, you can unhollow. After you unhollow, you can then summon everybody else to come help you. If you don't have any humanity, you're kind of fucked. Right. recently um, gone on to the Dark Souls forums looking at what other people are saying about the game and you guys sort of echo my sentiment here that the game's fucking hard I 
I want to take this time to say, um, get well soon to Jesse Solverson. For those of you who don't know who he is, he performs as part of the X Division on TNA Impact, or as they call themselves now, Impact Wrestling. Um, but due to a botched spot at the recent TNA pay per view, he ended up uh, in hospital and apparently. He doesn't have any feeling in his legs, so he could be uh, crippled from anything from six months to a year, which isn't good. But as long as he gets some movement, then you know who am I to judge? But to uh, Zima Ion, the guy that did it, I find it disgusting that they're still pushing this guy. He botched and botched big. If you look at the video, you'll see how hard, when he went for that dive, his foot went into Sorensen's head. It's ridiculous. This is the one of the main problems with TNA. They don't give a shit. You know, I'm, I'm surprised they're actually paying for the guy's operation. You know, that they're paying his hospital bills, that they're making sure that he's alright. Because usually, they just cripple talent and don't pay shit. And if most of you don't remember, why don't you look at Daphne's case? Oop, I better get back to this. Daphne was told to go into a hardcore match by Terry Taylor and Vince Russo. Land on fun tacks when she's never taken that kind of spot before and injure her back. After being put through a table by Abyss. Did it have any meaning? Was it used to further storylines? Not so much. Now if you guys remember earlier, these uh, demons were enchanted. And there's me being a bit coming out of it while the rest of these guys are actually trying to fend these things off. It doesn't need to happen. These big spots don't make matches. And I keep telling people this. You can tell a story and you can pull up a great match as long as you contain what you're doing. Because in the end, if you end up doing some big, impressive move which people will end up forgetting about, make sure you know what you're doing. Because you can end up in the same situation that Sorensen's in at the moment. And I don't blame Jess for this. Jess did everything he could to catch the guy. But Zima ended up full force kicking the guy straight into his neck. Nearly crushed his neck into his spine. That, ugh. What a prick. Right. Now with all this pent up frustration, let's kill these fuckers. Die! Don't think about it, but it's clear that they're attacking this fuckwit. One down. And now it's a go. Damn, that's a mistake. That was brilliant. Right, let's move on. What I found out by looking at the guys is that I don't actually have to take on the dragon. Because the dragon is more filler. He's not an actual boss, which is great. Still going to take him on eventually. There's just more I've got to do. Let's ring this goddamn bell. And yes, I swear. I know. I swear repeatedly.
Greetings. I am Oswald of the Lord Cometh of Hello, Oswald. Look at these rings. Stocking up on your day. What I'm doing here is I'm making my way back so I can just notify the guy that um, that I've rang the bell, see if I can collect my little prize. charge my batteries well I don't know. you need okay reinforce my equipment and again guys you need to reinforce your equipment here otherwise you'll end up losing it and you don't want to do that Which you all know, I don't know why I'm telling you guys this, because you all fucking understand that if he didn't, you probably would have ended up killing yourselves. Which we all have done. <laughs> I've done it so many times. What I'm doing here is just um, looking through 
items here, see if there's anything that can be forged, if I've got any um, extra accessories that are needed. And I know this is monotonous. Most of you guys will probably sit there thinking yourself, yourself you're recording you're recording a video and this is all you're doing, blah blah blah. Etc. Yes, I know I'm running away like a bitch. You keep telling me guys. <laughs> I am Zigma, quite honestly. Or a yeah, but what am I supposed to do, Mr. Zigma? The thing just won't budge. So, here I sit, weighing my options. Oh, for fuck's <laughs> sake. Okay, so now we know that we can't open those fucking gates, even though I've killed the gargoyles. So we're back at this stage again. Which is where uh, part three left off last time. into the sewer system which will then lead me to the next boss um, another demon that people have been having a hard time with apparently <laughs> and one thing there's one I don't know if it's a problem or not actually this game because it's Enemies keep popping up even after you kill them. I think it's part of the the game's nature because it gives that sense of unpredictability. But it does get annoying. Like, like this guy, I've killed him how many times now? By the way guys, um, at the end of my playthrough, when we've reached episode, I believe it'll probably be about episode 7, maybe, actually, somewhere about episode 7 to 10, um, I'm then going to do a review um, of the game, and talk about the likes and dislikes of this game, because it's got a lot to like. There's not much to dislike about it, apart from the fact that it's fucking hard. Because anyone with a brain would know this game is fucking hard. I'm not saying that most of you don't have brains. Just saying that it's fucking hard. And yes, there's a lot of guys out there who probably find it easier to complete this game than someone like me. But... All I have to say is, it doesn't now. Because everyone has their own pace, so... Undead bug. Reason why I'm here. Just to see if there's any other goodies. And also to pick up the goodie for ringing the bell. Isn't the 
neat little trick there. If you um, get your character to go into the nest, you can actually curl up in there and have the bird take you back to the asylum, which you don't really want to do at this point. Suicide comes alive. Like I'm gonna do that. I've seen the TNA Empath video game. Not bad. There's a lot more EA could have done with it, I think. Was it EA that did it? I think it was EA that, that published the last time. Oh, that Midway. No, it was Midway Games before they went bankrupt. Apparently, they're working on another TNA oh, game soon. Hello. I will teach you Miracle. It's a Miracle on fucking live. Come Excuse again. Me. Doing a manly burp. Why, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to make it. No, I didn't expect oh, you to be sitting there, bitch. Around. You never give up, do you? No, I don't. Well, don't stop now. <laughs> That's what your mum said to me last night. Bitch! I know. Terrible. But still. There's a guy in gold armour who I rescued as well. Apparently, yeah, there he is, just sitting there. He's going to play an integral role ah, for the rest of this game. Hello there. On my journey through Dark Souls. I'm grateful to you for freeing me. <laughs> Not enough for you. Well. <laughs> hmm. You again. What is it? Our futures are murky. He doesn't like me, does he? another part of the game and apparently I'm not supposed to be here yet because I'll just get my ass handed to me because I'm not at a certain level this is the new Londo ruins um, I'm supposed to go through here to go to a mysterious ghost island but I'll just mm -hmm. come down here to talk to this gentleman this is unusual. This is unusual. you haven't lost your head and more importantly you're free how on earth well, I shouldn't pry. I'm Rickett of Vinheim. I was once an established smith. Can you believe it? Hmm? What is it? Have you? Oh no. Don't worry. I've no intention of escape. It's safe here. I can't bear the thought of going hollow out there. Although, I must admit, I've not much to occupy myself. How about this? I could forge your weapons, albeit with rather minimal tools. I'll show you what made me the best in Vinheim. Okay, so I've got enough uh, to have my weapons forged. But I don't think I've got enough souls or any items yet to actually allow me to do this. So we've got to put a pin in that for now. Hmm? What is it? There's nothing to talk We're both... Come back soon. I uh, will do Smithy. Oh, 
as well go and kill some randoms. They're not hostile. Random killing spree. And again, random killing sprees need to be done. Before I head on home. Apparently I could have unlocked that if I had the uh, key which you can get at the beginning of the game. It's a skeleton key that unlocks most doors. Link Shrine and then heading back for the next mission. Because as with this game, you need to go around killing and killing and killing. Um, not just to level yourself up, but ways to um, get your character through the game. Because there's a lot of these bosses that are blocking your way through, or certain things like those gates won't open until it's done. Which is fun. Let's go kill some mofos. Another thing I like about the Necromancer. You just go around there and light these fuckers on fire. back through the lower deck because it's where we need to go there we go
More dead ones. Rodent after rodent. People after people. That one needs to die, really. And underneath where the dragon is. I can hear you, bitch. An undead bird again. This is where you have to be, really. Got to kill these fuckers and keep going. I get to the sewer system and again we're going to be running a lot going around to everywhere attempting to kill these guys And it's great as well for farming because we can just go around killing and killing and killing until we get what we want. It also helps bring up the, um, the soul count. Problem when you're fighting in contained spaces, it doesn't help. We just got a few weapons out of it. Kill another one. Killing him softly with my song. Booyah! 
Right. I believe this is the place. So we're going to start our journey. Anyway guys, this is the end of uh, episode 4 part 1. I'll see you again for uh, episode 4 part 2 which is coming up next.